what the fuck is going on? What it do? <laughs> what it what it do? What's happening? Everything. Dr. David Bell, Mr. Lane Ballone, two mighty and powerful, incredible brothers of mine. Uh, just so fucking excited to do life with you guys. And we have been doing some pretty cool shit. We, uh, we just had a men's retreat back uh, on the weekend of January 9th here in uh, Georgia. And it was a collective of about five or six guys and all on, you know, a similar path of growth and understanding about themselves and the world and different things that they were looking at from spirituality to health and wellness and introspection and one of my favorite weekends of my life. So such a powerful, fun. beautiful weekend. Incredible. I, yeah. You know, it, it, we're going to dive into it and all the different things that we did and all the different moments. And there was some really fun, cool stuff going on, but uh, you know, what did y'all think about it? David, what do you, you want to kick it off? Sure. Um, you know, I think one of the big things for me was um, the camaraderie of it. You know, just the being able to be there with each other. Um, and we kind of had a little bit of structure, but, but not a ton that made it very rigid. So we had a nice flow to it. Um, and one of the things that I really took away from it was uh, like vulnerability, you know, like, um, you know, oftentimes, like, again, it was a men's retreat. And I told a bunch of people, you know, I'm going on this men's retreat, and, but it's not like a men's weekend in the classic sense of we're going to go, we're going to party and all this. It was um, really, you know, talking to people about healing, um, you know, from within and being able to to be together to heal as a community um, of men. So um, that's what I went in with it with. And that's what I got out of it, too. So, um, you know, setting that intention ahead of time. And it was uh, it was awesome to experience uh, the power of everyone there um, and the support. And, um, yeah, and it, like, as, as you said, it was beautiful and empowering and, uh, and I'm looking forward to more, that's for sure. Um, so, can you tell the, the, the folks, uh, who may be listening and watching what it is that you do just for some context? Oh yeah. Um, so I'm a chiropractor, um, and I practice a particular type of care called network spinal care. Uh, and it deals with uh, not just the physical, but also the mental emotional aspects of how our nervous system takes in information and then puts that out in the world. Um, and it's about aligning to, um, uh, the authentic experience of, of your everyday life. I'm finding extraordinary in that. So, um, so from that perspective, uh, you know, things like this call me to do some, some additional internal healing, right? Um, once you become more aligned, you often start to pull in the things and attract the people and things that help you to start to, uh, you know, achieve your next level and your greatest experience of, of life. And so that was, you know, meeting you, Jesse, probably originally, and then um, meeting Lane that weekend and, and so forth. Uh, you know, it's interesting the way the pieces kind of fall in as you're, uh, uh, you know, as you're aligning, you're seeing what your life's purpose is and just what's bringing um, or how your energy is showing up in the world and how that's attracting people. So. Hell yeah, brother. And, and real quick, before we jump to Lane, what was your uh, intention or intentions and thoughts? And we, you know, we could, dive into this later, but like, what, what were you looking forward to coming into the weekend? Um, I think for me, it was a, a lot of it was about letting, like letting go and letting be, um, you know, kind of moving out of a place of self judgment regarding, you know, my own path personally, um, even professionally, um, and allowing myself to, uh, just experience the, the overall camaraderie again, like the camaraderie was a big part for me to be able to, uh, go and go deep with other men and experience this level of vulnerability um, that we were able to experience. So. Oh yeah, brother Lane, tell us a little bit about you and your, your, your thoughts on the weekend and kind of what you came in and, and who are you? Who, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a bro and uh, I'm a bro that likes to travel, explore, pioneer into the unknown. And I've done that my whole life and I'll continue to do so. And uh, I have a background in the military, special forces, um, did a lot of crazy stuff, cool stuff, uh, mastered many different skills. And then I got out of the military, my wife and I, we did a lot of traveling and, uh, you know, I do a lot of different things. Um, I, but you know, I want to touch on just appreciation of the journey because, um, the unfoldment of how we all met and, you know, the, the events that led up to it, you know, incredibly grateful, you know, our, our brother, Stephen Kuhn, my business partner, you know, he's the one who, linked us together. And then we started, um, you know, chatting and, and connecting. And, uh, you know, so for anybody that's listening, it's like, 
those little connections that almost seem too good to be true or serendipitous or synchronistic, those are the ones that you want to listen to, you know, and just listen to your heart, listen and just take action and see where it goes, you know? And so this is, this very weekend is a product of following our heart, listening to it and being able to step into it and, you know, really getting a lot out of it. So, um, yeah, so I'm really incredibly grateful for how all this stuff unfolded. And, uh, so Jesse, you and I, we got together probably a month before the actual retreat and we started just kind of loosely putting together a framework and, we put together some intentions, which I think would be very valuable if we share with the audience, um, put together a, a simple framework, and then we just kind of felt it. 